Right now I want to show you one of my very favorite knots. And uh, it's called the Alpine Butterfly or just the Butterfly Knot. And you're going to start off with um, laying the rope across your hand at a 45 degree angle. Just like that. And you're going to give it two reps back across itself. Like so. Now we are interested in this middle rope right here. If you look at the top you want to choose the one that's in the middle on top grab it pull a little bit of slack through and then tuck it underneath the other two so it's going to go right there and then you're going to pull and pull and there's your knot this knot is like 85 percent strong it retains 85 percent of the strength of the rope it can be loaded in um, any three directions or two directions uh, you can tie it near the end of a rope and it's really easy to tie with gloves and it's really easy to untie even when it's been loaded extremely tight so let's do that again let's untie it here it's really easy to untie now i got my gloves on it's really cold i don't want to take my you know my uh my gloves off if i don't have to i'm just going to lay the rope across my hand at a 45 two wraps Grab the middle one right on top there and then tuck it under, bring it back towards your thumb, tuck it under, and then boom, boom, and it's done. That's how it should look. And this is a knot that's used by mountaineers and anyone that appreciates a good loop in the middle of the rope. It's also really useful for shortening a rope that's too long. And uh, because it retains the strength of the rope, versus say an overhand and it's easy to untie unlike an overhand <laughs> so there you go that's the alpine butterfly one of my very favorite uses for the alpine butterfly is as the loop for a trucker's hitch so if i want to do it make a mechanical advantage here say pull something i'm going to uh going to do that Go right through the loop there and then i've got a mechanical advantage where i can pull something in and uh, lock it off with an overhand which is also an easy knot to tie with gloves So, uh, why don't we up the ante a little bit and tie it with mittens. So these are nice, these are thick, dense mittens and I'm not gonna use the trigger finger here. I'm just gonna use the mitten portion so just like they were any normal set of mittens. And uh, I, will, I will tell you that this is easier with nice rope that is very flexible and, and smooth. If you got a stiff braided rope that doesn't pull well, it's gonna be a, a lot harder to tie. Mostly because of that step where you have to pull slack and tuck it under. So here I am. My hands are freezing. I got to tie a knot and a rope for some reason. And uh, I can't take my hands out of my gloves or I'll start to get frostbite because they're already super cold. So one, two, ooh, ooh, hold on here. One, two, and three. There we go. I'm going to find my middle rope right on top. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to use my thumb tuck it under grab it there my mitten out whap and whap there we go there's the alpine butterfly one of the most useful knots especially with the trucker's hitch that you'll ever learn